All right, everyone, today is day two. Well, it's been two days actually. Um, so it's day three since we packed up our mealworms into this large container. And I wanna show you, if I can do this without tipping this over, a little bit, that my cobalt chloride strip here, it's turned quite pink. So that is one thing that we're gonna record here. The cobalt chloride was blue, it is now pink. And we'll see that when we open this up. The first thing that I want to do is measure the mass of the whole container. And I need to make sure that this is on grams. And it's currently reading zero. And when I put the whole container onto here, the mass of the whole container is 96.86. 96.86. So the mass of the whole container has actually gone down a little tiny bit. That could be because this is not making a perfect seal, and so it might have lost a little bit of air, but that's something to take note of. All right, let's open this thing up. Oh, my mealworms are in there. I don't know about you, but they look a little bit bigger to me. And it looks like the BTB has turned to this really bright yellow color. So let's write that down. The BTB started off blue and it has turned to yellow. All right, so those are the pieces of data that we took at the end of the experiment. Let's keep going through here. We're gonna set this off to the side. All right, I now need the mass of my mealworms, the potato, which you can see that they've eaten quite a lot of that potato, and the cup. So the mass of this whole thing, it started off at 23.12 grams, and it has gone down in mass to 22.78 grams. And what that means is that mass must have left this container. If it loses mass, then that means that there are fewer atoms. And those atoms had to go somewhere because atoms can't be created or destroyed. So let's see what else we've got going on here. We also need to know the mass of the potato. So if I take the potato out, I'm going to take the mealworms off of it. All right, set those aside. The mass of my potato has gone down quite a bit. It is now 5.79 grams. All right, setting that aside as well, we need the mass of the mealworms in this cup because we're gonna then subtract the mass of the cup to figure out what's left. So mealworms plus the cup is going to be 16.97 grams. And then we're just gonna take all the measurements that we possibly can. So I'm gonna take the mealworms and I'm gonna put them into this new cup. And I'm going to try to get just mealworms here. And I'll show you the inside of this cup afterwards. Because the mealworms leave quite a lot of waste behind. And I want to know the mass of that waste. All right, so see how there's all of that mealworm waste in there? So I'm not going to be able to get that off. But the mass of the mealworms has, in fact, gone up. The mass of the mealworms is now 11.23 grams. All right, let's keep going. The mass of the cup with the waste has gone up, because now there's poop in there, to 5.70 grams. All right, those are all of my measurements. If you take this 
5.70 grams and subtract the mass of the cup, that will give you the mass of just the poop. If you take the mass of the mealworms and you subtract the original mass, that will be how much they have gained in mass. And then the mass of the potato, we're gonna take this number here, 5.79, subtract 7.93 and that will give you how much of the potato was eaten by the mealworms. All right, you have everything you need now to finish this lab.